The summer exhibition at the Royal Academy in London is the world's biggest open entry art exhibition. Anyone may apply. Over 1,000 works are crowded together here. Renowned members of the Academy hang side by side with unknowns. It's a potpourri of styles and media, anything and everything. A painting by German artist Georg Baselitz with a price tag of 450,000 euros, next to works costing just a few thousand. Members of the Academy take responsibility for the selection and hanging of the artworks. Painter Huey O'Donoghue is this year's committee coordinator. It can be a game changer for somebody's career. It's about um, sweeping away hierarchies and establishment. You have notice on the walls that we don't have the names of the artists, we have numbers on the walls. So you're, you're being put in the position to have this experience for yourself and to look at the numbers and say, well, I like this and go away. You're on your own as a viewer. Tom Butler made it. His works were chosen from among some 12,000 submissions. The preview party is only for the chosen few. Butler had applied twice before, without being selected. I can't believe I've got a... Somewhere in here I've got two very small artworks and there are these enormous paintings here, so it feels great. The tension rises as he scans the walls for his own works. Where they hang is critical to getting noticed by the viewers. Everyone will see it because it's right above the, the wall text. <laughs> I'm really happy. That's fantastic. And Eileen Cooper hung this gallery, which is amazing. She's the keeper of the, of the schools. Um, yeah, I couldn't be happier. That's great. Wonderful. His historical postcards, painted over with gouache, run about 400 euros a piece. With these works, he convinced the committee. The jury spent weeks going over every single application. They chose 800 artists to join the 80 academicians and other invited artists in exhibiting their works. What the criteria was, really, was that, that the artwork itself should in some way be compelling. And what I mean by that is that it would compel us to look at it or talk about it. The exhibition is to run for three months, during which time a number of high-caliber art collectors and their checkbooks are expected. Queen Victoria used to come here and buy work, you know, and you could be made, couldn't you? You could just... So there's still that possibility that you might get discovered, that you might sell your work. That's quite nice. This year's big winner is an already well-established artist. This print by German artist Wolfgang Tillmanns earned the Best in Show award with its 30,000 euro purse. The chance to hang cheek by jowl with great names is an inspiration, even for gallerists like Xavier Ellis. He speaks for many aspiring young artists and encourages them to submit their work. And actually, I have experienced collectors finding my artists at the summer show, and then they come over to the gallery and they've acquired numerous works through discovering an artist at the summer show. Tom Butler is among those hoping Xavier Ellis will pick him up. I think a lot of people feel that to have their work in, in these galleries uh, in such fine company is, is a real a real notch in their career. All artists probably like to be fashionable. They like to be in fashion. Um, I've lived long enough to have been in and out of fashion several times. And art is never really about fashion. Um, it attracts a lot, of, uh, a lot of fashionable people to it. But what, uh, what it is about at its core is about the integrity of the artist's vision. The summer exhibition is no guarantee for an artist's career, but it is an opportunity 
one of the most highly coveted in the art world.